Hey guys, welcome to the 10th episode of Come Again. Where all geek culture collide. We're your hosts, I'm Shannon. I'm John Mars. Got a great show for you today. Yes, We're we filming do. two shows back to back today. Uh, since it's uh, the beginning of May, we have Star Wars Day coming up. May the fourth be with you. Indeed. So uh, we're going to be doing News and Flash today. We're going to be doing game reviews. Uh, we're going to be doing co uh, recommended reading. Action figure reviews. And we've got a special surprise for you guys a little later on. It wouldn't be a surprise if we told you now. Exactly. Stay so uh, stay tuned. Let's get it on! She want to write Harley. Who does? Exactly. All right, guys, welcome back to Come Again. This is our game review. Uh, Amber and Jeff aren't here this week for whatever reason. Uh, so at the last minute, I grabbed the Batman Arkham franchise okay. minus minus Arkham Knight since I don't have PS4 yet. Yeah. Um, I won't tell you where those where he grabbed those from. You don't want to know. <laughs> Got uh, Arkham Asylum, which was the first in the franchise. Second being Arkham City. And the third being Arkham Origins. Um, the gameplay for these is great. Open world. Arkham Asylum is actually the game that got me back into video games. Really? Yeah. I um, I spent several years uh, not playing video games because I would get too uh, too angry at them and throw angry. my controller. And well, there is a level in there that really pissed me off. It's Scarecrow? Like, no. No, the first Killer one, Croc? Yes, the Killer, Killer Croc. Croc. Um, I, be, I had no problem with it the first time I, I played through it. But the second time I tried to beat the game so I can go and play Arkham City, I could get past it. I'm still yeah. stuck on it. Yeah, Killer Croc is uh, pretty difficult to uh, beat. So is Scarecrow. I had no problem with Scarecrow's. Um, but Let's great say, open world over. platformer game. Um, like I said, I, I gave up video games for years. Um, because I would just get so angry and pissed off at him and everything, throwing my controller and kind of scared my ex-wife, so I gave it up. Uh, then uh, when I got with my current wife, uh, all that and after you know five controllers, three hundred dollars on controllers later, yeah, and a TV screen. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the Batman Arkham series is great gameplay. Um, it's not meant for children. No, don't let them play Batman. Um, they have some cursing, I believe. If, if a lot you, of scary imagery. If you want to give them a Batman game, give them Lego Batman. Lego Batman, yeah. Uh, in fact, that may be brought in next week. I have them all. So do I. So. Um, but with Arkham City, the map is so much bigger. Um, no, I only got so far right now. I haven't beaten that one. I, Careful, it, you got poopy on the front. I think it's just rust stains or something from the uh, rack I have them in. <laughs> Told you, you don't want to know where you grabbed them from. <laughs> um, the DLC is okay for this game. Um, not much to it. I'm not a fan of DLC. I'm just going to throw that out there right now. If you buy a game, the game should come with everything yeah. you need to play it. Yeah, I um, agree with that. I don't mind expansions, but... But I, I do love... I absolutely love the gameplay in this as well. Uh, much larger uh, open world than Arkham Asylum. And that's the one I introduced Two-Face to the series, correct? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, you get to play in Old Gotham, which is now Arkham City. Uh, they expanded Arkham uh, to include all of Old Gotham, which includes the uh, Narrows. It has the um, Crime Alley, uh, the old Solomon, Kane, or Solomon Wayne Courthouse. Um, the old GCPD, uh, you get to play, uh, you get to fight against Mr. Freeze, um, which he can't be beaten the same way twice. So, mm. yeah. And he's uh, doomsday. <laughs> he kind of, yeah. Uh, you have to choose different ways to uh, fight him. Okay. Uh, in the DLC, when you're Catwoman, you can actually fight against Poison Ivy. Oh. Um, That's what we don't want to see. <laughs> cat fight. Cat fight. <laughs> Um, the whole, the whole game, uh, there's subtle hints at how the game end, is going to end, mm -hmm. um, but it's really cool how they pull it off. Put I won't that spoil in, it for uh, you. 
Well, because it's a, in the city, each major villain is is basically they're trying to fight for control yeah. over parts of the city, which which is where you get Penguin. Yeah, which is pretty much the same way that Arkham Origins is as well. Um, for those of you who haven't played it, I will tell you there is a huge reveal in it, mm -hmm. which uh, is pretty cool as well. I haven't played this one, but I unfortunately had people ruin it for me. Yeah, but I still want to play it. Um, it's got the black mask in it. He has a major role. Yeah, I was gonna say he's like the the big bad in this yeah. one. Um, kinda. <coughs> not to say Joker's not in it. But... Yeah. Um, let's see. Let's face it. That's why we play him. <laughs> yeah. And the first um, two actually still and have actually, Mark Hamill in yeah. them, don't they? Yeah, the first two have Mark Hamill in him. Uh, Arkham Origins has uh, I forget who plays the voice of Joker in this one, but it sounds like it sounds, a younger Mark Hamill. It sounds like Mark Hamill. Well, it's supposed to sound like a younger Mark Hamill. Right. For reasons being in the game. Um, much larger open world than Arkham City. This takes place in uh, all throughout all of Gotham, not just old Gotham. Um, the only part that you can't go to is Arkham, Arkham Island. Mm. Um, Probably for the... Yeah. yeah. But... Great gameplay. Uh, the DLCs are okay. Um, only thing I wish was that these games had two-player modes, not which they've hinted at countless times. And the, the, the Arkham um, Arkham Knight one was supposed to have two-player mode where you could play as Batman and Robin. And I'm not saying and network they playing. They, st they still didn't do it. Yeah, I'm not saying network playing. I'm saying actual in-game. Yeah. Two-player so modes play, where. Yeah. As you know, a, you and a friend can play as Batman or Robin. Yeah. Um, I mean, also, screen or something would be nice. In Arkham City, <coughs> is the uh, or no, it is Arkham. Get your Arkham game straight. <laughs> I think it's Arkham Origins where you play online. Yeah. And uh, you choose between Bane or uh, Joker's gang, I believe. Uh, maybe a few other gangs. But it does this really random thing where it randomizes it to where you don't really have a choice of whether you're on Joker's gang or Bane's game or if you're Batman or Robin. Uh, see, I would play wanting to play as Batman the entire time. I would pick Robin. Either one would be fine with me. But every time I log on, there was only one or, once or twice that I got to be Batman or Robin in Every time I log on, though, I'm one of the henchmen, which sucks because, you know, I play these games to play as Batman. If I want to play a Call of Duty game, I'll go and play Call of Duty. You know, I think we should have the option of playing as the character we want to be. Uh, overall, the series is great. Um, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Ditto. Nine, 9 out of 10, definitely. So there are things that could be improved. But... Yeah. Um... A big 9 out of 10 because you can't play uh, Arkham Knight on anything other than a PS4 or x -Bone. Right. So. Yeah. So, that's our game review for this week.